It is quite an honor for you to be recognized by your peers. And that says a great deal about who you are and how you show up every single day for, for our students, for our families, and for your colleagues. I think that this for you should be a tremendous honor. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for making a difference. Congratulations um, for what you do. And so we have elementary, middle, and high school educators of the year, teachers of the year. Congratulations to all of our teachers of the year. It's just trying every day to do better. I mean, our teachers work so hard. I, I know a dozen teachers of the year at my campus right now, but it's the fact of, uh, of just trying to do better each day with, with each lesson, with each interaction. And it's great to be recognized. And um, of course, it's an honor, so. I don't know if I have perfect words for it, but it's a pretty incredible process to have to be self-reflective about what we do every day. Most times I put my head down and I go to work and I'm working with 24 kids within a classroom and this has allowed me a broader spectrum of what I do every day. It's been pretty incredible. Still a little bit uh, overwhelmed, uh, maybe a little bit surprised. You know, you don't go into teaching for awards. You go into teaching because you sincerely believe you can make a difference in young people's lives and, and that's kind of what got me into the field in the first place. I, I really like the fact of um, uh, of communication, of, of teaching communication, and so the, uh, so the students can tell their stories, right? And that's really important, and we want to tell their stories, and we want them to be able to tell their stories effectively. I think that the balance between teacher and parent could be valuable moving forward as we start to modify the way education works for all of us, for all students to reach their highest potential. You know, I have students who come in and they make it real clear to me on those first couple days, they don't like science or they haven't done well, and I just look at them and say, hey, that's okay. I'm going to help you. I'm going to make you successful. What keeps me coming back is, um, is just learning more about myself in the classroom. And, uh, and as I learn more about myself, I can share more about myself with my students. And I can open up more and, and, uh, and care more and love more and, uh, and teach more by example. Teaching is just one of those things that if you have a heart for it, you've found your place. And I have found my place. Uh, I get to help little people realize what it means to learn something for the first time and that's something like reading that will be with them for the rest of their lives. We really do do this job because we want to. We're not just placeholders filling in. Every teacher I know, they want to show up, they want to help their students be successful. And I just, just want everyone to remember at the core, that's what teaching is all about.